What will be the Buffalo Bills philosophy change on the 2023 defense now without Leslie Frazier, Sean McDermott, and Al Holcomb? It has been pretty much confirmed that Sean McDermott is going to be starting the season, calling the plays, and if things start going, uh, getting messed up in other places on this team, maybe Sean McDermott will have to relieve his duties there. But I really love the philosophy change of the Buffalo Bills, having Sean McDermott releasing his final secret weapon to finally get us over this hump, to finally get the Buffalo Bills to the Super Bowl. What Sean McDermott has been known for has been defensive coordinator, making a name for himself across the league, and he becomes a Buffalo Bills head coach, going to the Super Bowl with Cam Newton, right, and the Carolina Panthers. And sure enough, there's a guy coming out in this year's NFL draft, Trenton Simpson of Clemson, growing up watching Cam Newton, growing up watching Luke Keekley and Shaq Thompson and Sean McDermott's defense, right? This kid is a perfect fit for our defense here. I know a lot of people want Jack Campbell and a lot of people want Drew Sanders. And I was kind of debating between them all. I was kind of higher on Drew Sanders because nine and a half sacks, man, you know how vicious that is in the Buffalo Bills, how often we blitz. And I think maybe Sean McDermott can get the most out of him. But at 27th overall, I believe Trenton Simpson is the best fit for the Buffalo Bills. And why I believe that is because Trenton Simpson would be the most athletic middle linebacker that Sean McDermott could potentially have ever had. Luke Keekley, his instincts, God-given instincts. I mean, Hall of Fame linebacker, God-given talent. Can we really expect to draft a player with the same instincts as Luke Keekley? And I think that is just such a rare trait. Sean McDermott got so blessed by getting a Luke Keekley on his team. But one thing with him is that he wasn't top-notch fast. He maybe wasn't the twitchiest linebacker in the NFL, but his instincts made up for that, right? But now, I think, Bills, we need to settle for a little less in the instinct department and just not expect that we're going to land a Luke Keekley type instinct player. And that's why I think going a little bit more athletic is the wise decision. So looking at it, Tremaine Edmonds versus Jack Campbell, right? Both pretty much the same height. Jack Campbell is a little bit shorter. His arm reach is a little bit shorter. He's a little bit lighter in weight and he ran the 40 time in a tenth of a second slower than Tremaine Edmonds. So can we really expect or bank on the fact that Jack Campbell's instincts are better than Tremaine Edmonds, right? And after, what, five seasons for Tremaine Edmonds, I think it's a stretch to think that Jack Campbell, his rookie year, is going to have better instincts than Tremaine Edmonds, especially after five seasons. But when you couple an athletic specimen like Trenton Simpson, 4.4340, the lack of instincts, right, would be made up for with his speed. And I think instincts maybe can be somewhat developed. Once you understand the game, right, you still have to have instincts, but once you understand the game, it definitely makes things a little bit easier. Stay in the left three lanes. So I really, really believe the Buffalo Bills would benefit from having the most athletic middle linebacker that Sean McDermott has ever had flying around on this defense. He fits this recipe to win, this philosophy to win. We all know, right? We all know it's a three-phase game, offense, defense, and special teams. The offense has to jive with the defense, right? And the defense has to jive with the offense. You have to build your team, right? You have a great defense and maybe not so good quarterback, but maybe you could run it, right? You try to keep the game close and steal the game at the end, of, right? That's kind of what the Jets were doing against us with, with the lack of a quarterback and relying on that top-notch defense, something what the Buffalo Bills actually used to do because we didn't have Josh Allen. We didn't have a developed Josh Allen. We had Nate Peterman, Tyrod Taylor, right? We had Sean McDermott and Leslie Frazier, a defensive mind, but now we've changed. Josh Allen is developed into the quarterback that he is. Josh Allen can run up the score. So we're putting teams in passing situations. They are being taken out of running the football because they need to pass the ball and 
try to keep up with this offense. So knowing that, Tremaine Edmonds lacking in pass coverage because of his lack of speed and his twitchiness and all these things, and maybe a little bit lack of instincts, I really believe the Buffalo Bills could draft Trenton Simpson 27th overall, and he can step in and win Defensive Rookie of the Year. Now, with that said, we do have some players on this team that could fill that role. So if the Buffalo Bills go crazy here and, absolutely, and just totally not even draft a linebacker, we got some guys like Balin Spector, who did see some playing time last year. I think he definitely stepped up, but he was playing with backups against backups. It was late in games. We need to see a little bit more from Balin Spector, and he kind of just... I don't know, he lacks overall size and he lacks overall speed, but one year under his belt should give him an advantage, competitive advantage going into this year's training camp, as well as Terrell Bernard, a higher draft pick, third overall. Terrell Bernard definitely saw a little bit higher of a snap count and saw more playing time against starters. And he did well, he did very well, but I don't know if the Bills ultimately want him at middle linebacker. I'm sure if he wins out that competition, he will do it. And I think he was actually tasked to learn both positions. It'd be nice to have him back up Milano if anything were to happen to him, right? And also we got Terrell Dotson, right? And I think Terrell Dotson is the real sleeper here. Tyler Matikiewicz, to me, is a special teamer. Terrell Dotson is kind of known to be a special teamer as well, but he is really the true oddball here. Maybe Terrell Dotson comes into this year's training camp and just wins the competition and is the starting linebacker for the Buffalo Bills in 2023. Knowing that Sean McDermott is going to be calling plays here, I know for a fact that there's going to be a philosophy change. We are once again going to see a little bit of a change here for the Buffalo Bills entering 2023. What kind of style will it be? Will we be more aggressive? You know, how many times did we see it with Leslie Frazier when our backs were up against the wall? Really that first back-breaking moment when Josh Allen was sitting on the field after we lost against the Houston Texans. Deshaun Watson passing the ball to Taiwan Jones, picking up that first down. Right, our backs up against the wall. Leslie Frazier would get too complacent. He would not be and stay aggressive. You know, 13 seconds, we played off. We did not stay aggressive. Joe Burrow and the Kansas City Chiefs and Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, all these guys, we did not stay aggressive. Moments, critical moments of the game, you got to stay aggressive. You know, you got to dictate on defensive side of the football. And I believe that's what Sean McDermott's going to do. But I hope you guys truly enjoyed this video. I'm sitting here driving, coming back up north, had to get out my video for you guys. Uh, I don't know if I can turn the video around, but um, beautiful sunset here. I kind of can show you maybe. You guys can see it. Unbelievable. I appreciate every single one of you guys keeping Bill's News Consolidated alive. Make sure you hit like, subscribe. Check you soon. Go Bills. Peace.